the pediatric intensive care unit of the Confanochi Teaching Hospital is in dire need of expansion to offer quality health care to critically ill children. The four-bed facility serves the pediatric intensive care needs of patients in the entire northern sector of the country. Correspondent Beatrice Piogabra spent a day at the unit and has filed this report. The other patient would have to be admitted at the adult intensive care unit after adjustment of some movable equipment. Staff shuttle between the PICU to the adult intensive care unit to offer care. A pediatrician, Dr. Eugene Marty, is worried at the limited beds at the ward. Those who come in and there's bed, there's equipment, we have nurses available to take care of them. Out of that, any of those who are supposed to have died, 10 who are supposed to have died, 7 of them will live. When the critically ill children are stabilized, patients are admitted at the pediatric emergency unit where the story of congestion is no different. Francesca Udru told TV3 the high cost of treatment is a major challenge in seeking health care as most of services are not covered by the National Health Insurance Scheme. Mothers are also in need of a restroom. Three emergency who are coming, I'm catching them. Say, a hot day is coming. Say, minimum seven was car. A bad boy, but minimum seven minimum six. Can you hot dia? I'm one by because I feel dia no other son. No board in pa. A dua na dua just what na si sa ma dia chi. Na what na si sa ma dia sa. But if you cry, I would only make you cry. Be sick cry no. Unya. Until you say, "Omo so omo pe da bra." A matter no so omo so be nyamwa. Abu omo. Head of the unit, Dr. John Adabie Apia, is appealing for expansion of the PICU with child-friendly consumables. He is hoping most treatments will be covered under the National Health Insurance Scheme to ease the financial burden on parents. In the event that one can't come to the ICU, what we do is sometimes we have to negotiate with the adult ICU and then if we have a spare ventilator, we move that pediatric-friendly ventilator to the adult ICU. And you shuffle between the pediatric ICU and the adult ICU. Another big challenge for us is with regards to equipment. 